Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to iTrack. Today I got a whole lot of creepy TikToks and a few interesting topics for us to go ahead and cover. And if you haven't been here before, what we like to do is evaluate these TikToks and, and, and kind of see for ourselves what we think. In the age of doctoring up videos and fake pictures, it's important to be able to judge for yourself. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Yeah, yeah, Lucifer. Yeah. yeah. The devil. So you, 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 it's trippy. You see both sides it's of. It, yeah, man. It's, 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 when I, when I go inside, I may do an after party. <laughs> I see it all around, man. I may, I may do an after party, and this is how I'll be able to write these records, cause right. it's not just the positive energy that speaks to me. It's the negative too. It's the evils too, and we all have temptations. Right. You know. Me, I'm just fortunate enough to to translate them temptations through record. Right. Lucy is one of my favorite records because it's me actually coming to realization of the evils rather than acting like it's not going around. My thoughts are not happening. My thoughts are happening right in front of my face. I got to present them. He was bold about it. He said, hey, this is how I'm able to do this. So it's, that's not a myth. That's, that's a fact. Walker did the hoax, and it was a body double. Listen. Well, it wasn't even me. It was some other dude. They thought it was me. No, this is... Oh, you Now you're playing with me. Oh, I swear to God. You swear to... Okay. They thought, was, they thought it was me, and it wasn't even me. I love this. Because I did the campaign before. Yeah. And they're like, oh, but no, it's not even me. And so they should... Maybe, so maybe David, I picked some dude trying to look... A knockoff Paul Yeah, they got it. They got it. <laughs> <laughs> they got a guy for a better price. He's kind of looks like... You're cool. <laughs> that was... A, oh, I think his name was Johnny Walker. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hey, take care, man. What happened to the toe, bro? What happened to the toe, bro? No comment? Oh, I didn't hear you. Oh, I said, what happened to the toe? Oh, I just, I just messed it up. Oh, good. What are you doing, man? Driving driving fast? I'm running. I'm out of here, bro. Enough, enough. <laughs> hey, look, take it easy, man. Yeah, yeah, and I appreciate you, 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 man. No, we're just going up. It's all made up. All made up. What's the, uh, with the oil? Well, that wasn't even me. It was some other dude. They thought it was me. No, this is. Oh, you now you're playing with me. Oh, I swear to God. You swear? To, okay. They thought, I, it, they thought it was me. That wasn't even me. I, now that looks just like Paul Walker. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. You may not have realized that I'm not part of the club. A lot of you listening to me right here, right now, you're not part of the club either. And what I realized with the club is what makes them so mad is when you don't want to be a part of their fucking club, it pisses them off. What club am I talking about? I'm talking about the club of gatekeepers that we all got to deal with. You know who they are and they definitely know who they are. A lot of people would be like, what, who, who, who? Come on, man, stop playing. Leave. Stop. You gotta go. Shh, 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 shh. Calm down. What are you? Stop. Charlie, come on. I don't, I don't even know how to explain what I'm seeing. Holy hell. No, this is crazy. Did you hear this last night? It was going last night. Now, did you... Charlie, come here. I guarantee it's going to keep on. It'll do it again. Now, I don't know how you explain something like that. CGI, I'm not exactly sure. Major UFO video is going viral and it takes place in Ohio. Of course it is. All right, let's check out the footage. Multiple viewers reach out to us after they say they spotted those rotating green lights in the sky. Now, Caden Little of Middletown reached out and he tells us he saw the lights around 10.30 or 11 last night. Multiple people saw the object, so we have angles to work with. There's no way. I don't even know. But something about this video feels fake. Look how the camera follows the object instantly. Almost like the reaction time was just too good. But on the other hand, this UFO has been seen around the world. So it could be real. Let me know your thoughts. Man shines a light at a UFO and you'll never guess what happens next.
The man made a detour at Sentinel, Arizona rest stop. He observed several UFO in the distance. He decided to shine his light at them. You're not going to believe it, but it looks like the UFOs began to communicate with him. So let's analyze the footage. Whoa, look at those guys. What in the fuck? Oh my God. Holy shit, dude! Oh my god! Dude, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh my god. People are trying to say the UFO was a drone, but here's the thing, when you look at Google Maps, he was in the middle of nowhere. Which means it's unlikely that anyone was out there with the drone. Not to mention, the object had instantaneous acceleration, which civilian drones just don't have. Unfortunately, the incidents that took place that night remain unsolved. Make sure to like and follow for real footage of the- If that's a drone, that's probably one of the biggest drones I've ever seen. The tea is buzzing that Kylie now has Sampaku eyes. Sampaku eyes are basically when you see the whites either at the bottom or the top, or it's like this, and you can just see whites on all four. <laughs> Other celebrities who have had it are Princess Diana, Michael Jackson, Marilyn Monroe, Abraham Lincoln, and Sampaku eyes are not very common. And with these celebrities, the one thing that they all have in common is they have all passed away before their time. Fans are saying that Kylie's eyes have changed ever since Astro World. We're not sure if it's true, but it's just kind of like a theory. When you look at her photo, she is looking up a lot. Like, clearly Clearly you're gonna see the bottom whites here. But when you look a little bit closer, her eyes are pretty much straight, but this one you can kind of see the whites down here. It's just a little interesting. Another celebrity that has well known to Impact Eyes is Billie Eilish. So we are hoping that Impact Eyes does not actually hold the trend of, you know, passing before your time. I feel like she was reaching with that. Like, yeah, I feel like she was reaching with that. Have you heard the crazy conspiracy theory that with every massive stadium tour going on right now that there are a lot of demonic messages being unwillfully taken in by the huge crowds every night? At Beyonce's Stadium Renaissance World Tour, there's a scary interlude that takes fans by surprise that begins with a portal hypnosis as if to control you and draw you in. Then it gets scary when messages like whoever controls the media controls the mind pop up on the screen. Then it's terrifying when mind control messages pop up on the screen in between placements of Beyonce's face and a picture of a human in a submissive worshipy pose. Fans were saying they were getting so uncomfortable during this part they were looking away. Second, the known suspected Satanist The Weeknd was so shameless and blatantly for no reason flashed Satan's name on the Jumbotron at his stadium concert. He's not even hiding his affinity for Satan at this point. It actually flashed twice. I'm making sure that you saw it. Fans and viewers often said they felt very uncomfortable at his whole run of his stadium tour because the thing just felt like one big demonic ritual that they were forced to be a part of. Before I show you the scariest one, make sure you follow so you finally know the craziest conspiracy theories about all your favorite celebrities and request who you want to see next. Lastly, there's literally a demonic chant screened by all the fans at the Taylor Swift Eras tour during her song Willow and they all yell, summon the demons. Summon the demons, bitch! Summon the demons! They do this as Taylor is literally dressed as a witch with her whole coven and there's a ceremonial huge fire in the middle of the forest. Does that remind you of anything? Are now that looked like exactly what it looked like. It's very self-explanatory. Famous people who worship Satan, part seven, Taylor Swift. So Taylor Swift came on the scene actually when I was in high school and everybody fell in love with her. And as it always is, and we've covered this before, it started off so innocently. So we're all just like, you know, hey, this woman, you know, she's writing all these love songs and, you know, no big deal, right? And then, as usual, when it comes to this industry, things started to take kind of a weird turn. And Taylor started to have this weird obsession with Red, which she actually named one of her albums. 
But, you know, you can't really make anything out of that. I mean, to say red and satanic and all that, I mean, that would be taking it way too far. So we move on. Now, Taylor had this TV show that she was on, and she wanted to respond to a politician who had some really conservative views, specifically pro-life views. And Taylor, in response to her, said, I am a Christian. That's not what we stand for. So she actually said that basically Christians do not stand for the life of a baby inside the womb. Really think about that for a second. You see, this is what these people do. People start to worship her as a celebrity, and then she pushes her ideologies on these other people who worship her. They start to just believe it blindly, and everything that she's saying is completely against the word of Yah, which is exactly what the enemy desires. Now you can watch a lot of Taylor's videos, um, even in her early years, and how she actually represented goddesses all throughout those videos. And we could make those connections if you guys wanna see that, let me know. But really recently, you started to see some of the evil that is coming from this woman in the witchcraft that she is promoting. And so we're gonna get into that on the next video. We're gonna look at some of the clips and you guys need to be warning your children about this woman and y'all need to be using discernment when you're listening to some of the music. This secular music is not good for you guys. Like you gotta be careful with this stuff. So like and follow and I'll see you on the next one. I never just sat and just listened to a Taylor Swift album so I never really noticed. So this is very interesting. You've probably heard the conspiracy theory that your favorite celebrity is actually a lizard. So here's the full reason the crazy lizard people conspiracy exists. The world is controlled by shadowy elites and shape-shifting lizard people. For years, conspiracy theorists have accused celebrities of shifting from normal people to lizard people right before our eyes. If you look at their eyes in these real videos, you see they go from round human pupils to sharp oval reptilian looking pupils. Miley, Rihanna, Taylor, Beyonce, some even go as far as to tell everyone that they are not actually a lizard. Mark, are the allegations true that you're secretly a lizard? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go with no. I'm 12 million people have gone on record saying that they believe in this theory and David Icke has written many books about it. The story goes that lizard people are an advanced species of humanoids that existed back in dinosaur times, disguise themselves as humans, and then use their intelligence to control and dictate the world. They're able to achieve celebrity and prestige because they're way more advanced and intelligent than humans because they've been here for so much longer. They're not to be trusted because they want to plant seeds to destroy humans and corrupt them. In 2014, Justin Bieber was accused of switching back between human and lizard eyes on camera. Then the same year, he allegedly shifted into full lizard form in front of hundreds of fans. Then hundreds of news sources and people on Twitter were talking about it the next day. I'm gonna show you what people said he did as a lizard, but before I do, make sure you follow so you finally know the craziest conspiracy theories about each of these celebrities and requests do you wanna see next. People say that his head shrunk, his eyes went black, and real life scales formed down his body with a black stripe down the middle. He grew over a foot taller, people were screaming, crying, running for the exit, and anyone who recorded a video was forced to delete it and sign an NDA. But everyone who saw him described his physical appearance the exact- Here are three more reasons why dolphins are the absolute menaces of the animal kingdom. Number one, they abuse pufferfish to get high. Pufferfish secrete to trototoxin, which is highly poisonous to humans, but in small amounts for dolphins can make them feel really good. Gives a new meaning to puff puff pass. Number two, they will use each other's blowholes for oral, uh, well, I guess it's not oral, nasal, and sometimes for the same purpose, they will use eels because, you know, they're slimy and flexible. You get it, use your imagination. And last, but certainly not any less absurd, they will sometimes purposefully murk baby dolphins to make the females reproduce with them again. Yeah. If dolphins are still your favorite animal in 2022, you're just a contrarian because what the actual- That's just creepy. To see this. Wait for it.
Platon Chimera, Part 26. What the fist is? Okay. What is that? It sounded like a plane that looked like something, but sounded like a plane. I can't call that one. In hip hop, is that uh, Takeoff was killed in Houston not too long ago. Uh, you know, what'd you think about that whole situation? Um. Takeoff is Aaron Dotson. And he's very well. He's okay. So take off fake his death. Yeah. Okay. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? Hell no. <laughs> I just I just told you who he is. You can just people can Google Aaron Dotson. Yeah, they can, they can look up Aaron Dotson. They gonna see the eyes. They gonna see him there. He's... I was told the main reason we're here on Earth is to learn to manipulate energy. Mm -hmm. So they said, once you learn how to manipulate energy, then you can create, and you can create anything you want. That's the main reason we're here on Earth, is to learn how powerful we are, we right. can. Mm -hmm. We can manipulate the energy to have anything we want. Mm -hmm. First, you have to know exactly what you want, because it all involves a visualization. Everything starts with thought. Mm -hmm. It starts with a dream. The more detail you can put into this visual picture, the easier it is. When you're creating it, try to hear things, yes. mm -hmm. smell things, mm -hmm. put as much detail into the picture as you can, and it has to happen because mm -hmm. that's the law of the universe. Mm -hmm. That's how everything is created. You send out the thought, you send out the dream, you send mm -hmm. out exactly what you want. It goes into the other dimension right. where it is tweaked or whatever and made into mm -hmm. a reality then it's mm -hmm. brought back now another thing when you create this don't worry about how you're going mm -hmm. to get it mm -hmm. don't sit back i've had some people say well then i'm going to have to do this and this right. and mm -hmm. this to get it mm -hmm. no let that part yeah. go and when it happens it'll happen in ways you can't possibly imagine 13 is a big number in numerology, and it's a big number for the Illuminati. There's 13 bloodline families. You go around, you see McDonald's. Why did they make that M so big? Because M is the 13th letter. That's a hidden way of paying homage to the Illuminati masters. There's a team called the Philadelphia 76ers. 7 and 6 is 13. San Francisco, 4 and 9 is 13. Here is proof that the Illuminati is real. There are many celebrities rumored to be a part of the Illuminati. This includes, but is not limited to, Nicki Minaj, Miley Cyrus, and Justin Bieber. Not only do they all hold up their hand signs, but they also have the sound E in their name. This in itself is a clue, as the name Illuminati broken down is Illumin, not E. The Illuminati themselves are viewed as the most powerful leaders in the world, and at a young age we are already taught to serve them. One thing many people associate schools with are teachers, and with teachers many people think of apples. And Apple just happens to be one of the biggest companies in the world. It is also worth mentioning that most of their products start with an I. What is another place that starts with an I? If you thought of Iraq, you are correct. But this is just a starting point. A common sign of the Illuminati is a triangle, and the pyramids in Egypt happen to be that shape. This is backed up by the United States $1 bill, which has the Illuminati sign on top of a pyramid on the back. Another common triangle we learn about as a kid is the food pyramid. If you look above Egypt, you'll find Turkey, which is up and to the right, just like on the food pyramid. If you connect all three points, you have a triangle. But we're not stopping there. The Illuminati is not just represented by triangles, but they are also represented by an eye. And what do eyes do? They see. And on the map you will see the Mediterranean Sea, the country Syria, and of course the Red Sea. These points give you your second triangle. If you combine these two triangles, what do you get? A two-triangled star. And what lies in the middle of the star? 
Israel. And guess what Israel's national flag looks like? The two-triangled star. What do you think about all this? Let me know in the comment. I think he was mixing a lot of facts and cap up together. I, I didn't, I wasn't feeling that one. Moses Mark Zuckerberg, live on television. Okay, you want to take off the hoodie? No, I never take off the I know you don't. What's with that? There's a group of women in the audience that wish you would. Uh, no. <laughs> Girls? Whoa. Maybe I should take off the hoodie. Take off the hoodie. Go ahead. That's a company hoodie. We print our mission on the inside. What? Look at that. Making the world open and connected. Stream graph platform and this weird symbol in the middle that is probably for the Illuminati. Kitchen. Like the kitchen area. It is. They're real quiet about it. I would not. Oh, it's cold right here. Just the other way. Hello? I'm not going up there. Definitely not going back there. Oh, wow. It, it is really cold right here. What was that? I don't think it's happy we're here. I don't know, dude. Oh, holy. Dude, there's... What is your most controversial opinion? Both political parties is full of crap and they're controlled by the Illuminati, but the Illuminati is controlled by the Anunnaki, which are not human if you know what I mean. And when I bring that stuff up, 90% of people say no freaking way. Right. But they can never disprove any part of it. And that is my most controversial opinion. For people that don't know though, what is the Illuminati? The Illuminati is a people that claim to be illuminated. They claim to know the true history of mankind and the true genetics of mankind. They also claim to have more bloodline in them from the Anunnaki, which is the gods. But they aren't actual gods, they're physical beings, but they're not from this... I think that man was spilling tea for those that want to listen. Who is the creator of the simulation? Uh, some people say it's aliens. Uh, there was a professor at Oxford who wrote a paper about this back in 2003 named Nick Bostrom, and he, he thinks it's future versions of ourselves. So he thinks we're in what we'd call wow. an ancestor simulation. Like if we created a game of ancient Rome, they would be like our ancestors in a way. There are others who say it's God or pure consciousness outside of the matrix. So all the religions, not just any specific religion, but pretty much all of them have been telling us that the physical world is not the real world, that there's another world out there beyond this. Uh, and so that's yet another theory of what's outside. Do you believe this is probable, possible? I believe it's probable, like more than a 50% chance uh, that we are inside some type of... Those are pretty high odds. Well, yeah, and you know, as I studied the different religions, I realized that they were telling us the same thing that modern computer science uh, and that modern physics is starting to tell us uh, about the nature of reality. What if somebody or something shut this game off instantly? What would happen to us? Well, this depends a little bit on what I call the NPC version or the RPG version. So NPC means non-player character. And those are the characters inside the video games that are just AI. You know, the bank teller or the right. bartender or the orcs that you're fighting. And then there's the RPG version or the role-playing game version. Those are the characters that we play. So if you right and now. I were in a game, we would have avatars within the game. And so what happens when you shut down a game if you're playing like World of Warcraft or if you had a virtual reality headset on? You take off the headset and there's still you outside of the game. But the problem is in something like The Matrix, if you remember, Keanu Reeves and Morpheus and the others, they had those wires that connected into the back of their right. brain. So they forgot that they were inside a video game. They didn't realize it. Now, on the other hand, if we're just non-player characters, if we're just AI within the game, 
and you shut off the game, then those characters go to sleep until you can restart those again. Interesting take. Now, deep. Voilà l'image que je vous présente. Regardez très bien cette petite fille au milieu devant l'homme en jaune. Regardez. Alléluia. Toi et moi, nous pouvons dire que c'est un fait extraordinaire. Nous pouvons dire que oui, c'est une fille. Mais toi, est-ce que si tu mets au monde une telle fille, est-ce que tu peux garder sur tes cuisses? Voilà, c'est pour vous dire que les démons sont parmi nous. Les sirènes sont parmi nous aujourd'hui. Le monde des ténèbres envoie aujourd'hui les siens sur la terre pour visiter les humains qui veulent les accueillir. Et chers frères et sœurs, je vous le dis en vérité, en vérité. Ces serpents que vous voyez sur la... It's a bunch of snakes on the top of her head and having a meeting for real. I really don't think I'm ever going to be able to escape this shit. Listen to it. Listen to that pedaling. Jesus. I mean, this is my whole closet right here. It's my kitchen. This impressive statue is called the Apennine Colossus. Nestled deep in the depths of the Apennine Mountains, this centuries-old Colossus statue stands at approximately 35 feet, or just over 10 meters tall. The detail in this statue is incredible. Built in 1580, the intricacy in the carvings is just phenomenal. It's even got a dragon. Look at the feet. How is that even possible with hand tools? That's not all. The statue holds another secret. Built right into the base of the statue is a secret chamber, which is said to represent a sacred space of refuge. It's also got its own shrine and several other subterranean passageways. But what's most intriguing is that... The most species of bug. Cap. The most species of bug. This entire civilization has no idea about the outside world. The North Sentinel Island. They made it very clear they don't want any contact with the outside world. They have lived uncontacted for 60,000 years and have no immunity against any diseases. In 2018, an American missionary named John Allen Chow wanted to convert the tribe to Christianity, so he hired illegally two Indian fishermen to enter. Let's say that was a very bad decision. They tried multiple times, but the locals attacked them. One time, he tried offering them a Bible and sing for them as a gift, but they shot an arrow at him and almost killed him. After days being on the canoe, he gave the fishermen his diary and asked them to leave. He should have turned back home, but insisted on declaring Jesus to the tribe. Unfortunately, until this day, no one knows where are his remains. In a press note, the Andaman Islands police undertaken a second expedition to the island with a team of police officials, Forest Department, Tribal Welfare Department, and Coast Guard, but no trace is found. In his diary, he wrote, Lord, is this island Satan's last stronghold where none have heard or even had the chance to hear your name? Don't be angry at them if they killed me. Follow for more updates. Oh, there goes another one in the books. There's a lot to marinate on, if you haven't already. Go ahead and smash that like button, smash the subscribe button, the most active community on YouTube. Alright, well, I'll catch you guys on the next one.